What's up, everyone? Welcome to the April 18th edition of DraftKings Tournament Plays presented by Prize Picks. I'm your host, Adam Scherer. You can follow me on Twitter at ShipMyMoneyDFS. As a reminder, you get one free month of Awesomeo Plus Platinum when you sign up and make a deposit at Prize Picks. Be sure to use the code Awesomeo to receive a 100% first deposit bonus up to $100. We have an eight game MLB slate tonight. It was supposed to be nine games, but we already lost one due to weather. Um, so we're going to take a look at three of the top tournament stacks and three of the top tournament pitchers using the top stacks tool and the top pitchers tool on awesomeo.com. As a reminder, um, these are more geared typically towards contrarian, relatively low probability plays than they are core pieces you should build around, but they are some of the top contrarian options or under owned options that we can find right now. Starting with the top stacks coming in at number three, the Tampa Bay Rays are projected for 6% aggregate ownership. They have about an 8% chance of being the highest scoring stack on the slate. They have a relatively difficult matchup against Kyle Hendricks and the Chicago Cubs. They only have a 4.4 implied run total as a result, but there is a lot of power in Tampa Bay's lineup and Hendricks is someone that pitches to contact. Um, he allowed 1.52 home runs per nine innings since the start of last season. He has a 4.6 XFIP. When he's not locating effectively, he can be hit pretty hard. Uh, the weather here is also conducive for pitching, not for hitting. So that's another uh, issue facing Tampa Bay. But when you have guys like Brandon Lau, Wander Franco, uh, or Zarania, Choi, Diaz, Josh Lowe, th there's a lot of power and speed up and down this lineup. So at low ownership, a very high upside stack in tournaments. Number two, the Houston Astros projected for 3% aggregate ownership with an 8% chance of being the top scoring stack. They're facing Michael Lorenzen tonight in Houston. They have a 4.6 implied run total. Lorenzen had a strong start his first time out, and he's a bit of a question mark here. He spent most of his career with Cincinnati. Um, a lot of that time was out of the bullpen. He throws hard. He has good stuff, but remains to be seen exactly how that plays as a starter. I like taking my chances on a team like Houston that has some very high upside hitters in their lineup at low ownership. And number one, the Philadelphia Phillies, not a low-owned team, projected for 23% aggregate ownership, but also with a 23% chance of being the top scoring stack on the slate. They have a 6.1 implied run total tonight against Chad Cool in Colorado. We know that Colorado is, of course, a favorable park for hitters. Chad Cool is far from a lights-out pitcher. 1.14 home runs per nine and a 20.5% strikeout percentage as a starter since the beginning of last season. The Phillies, of course, have tons and tons of power throughout their starting lineup as well. So very popular. You'll need to offset some of that ownership with lower owned secondary stacks and or pitchers, but they are very likely to be the top scoring offense on tonight's slate around one in every five times. Now looking at the top tournament pitchers coming in at number three, Luis Garcia for the Houston Astros making his second start of the season. He threw 71 pitches in four innings, his first time out. The biggest concern with Garcia is that he, uh, Probably isn't going to go very deep into this game. The Astros typically are pretty cautious with him, but he does have a 25.8% strikeout percentage as a starter since the beginning of last season, 3.98 XFIP. Uh, he's facing the Angels who, you know, we know they have a couple of elite hitters in Shohei Otani and Mike Trout. Um, Anthony Rendon, very good as well. But after that, it does start to, to drop off. And once you get towards the bottom of the Angels order, there are plenty of strikeouts to be had and not many very good hitters. The Angels only have a 3.9 implied run total. Uh, Garcia has a 15% chance of being a top two pitcher on tonight's slate with about 8% projected ownership. Number two, Tyler McGill, $9,300 price tag pitching for the New York Mets as he takes on the San Francisco Giants. McGill is projected for a 17% chance to be a top two scoring pitcher at 9% ownership. He th he's thrown 68 and 76 pitches in his first two starts. He went five innings and five and a third. Um, that is somewhat important to me that he went five and a third in the start where he threw 76 pitches because it tells me that he wasn't pulled because of a pitch count. He was pulled, I believe, because he put people on base or because the Mets didn't like whatever matchup was coming up. But they did try and let him get through six, in six innings, which is appealing for his upside. He has struck out 26.5% of hitters with a 3.71 XFIP since the start of last season. And number one, the top tournament pitcher on DraftKings, Aaron Nola, $9,900 price tag, only projected for 5% ownership with an 18% chance of being a top two pitcher. He has some red flags here. For one, he struggled a bit to open the season. For two, and probably the bigger one, He's pitching in Coors Field. Nola in recent seasons has been a much better pitcher in Philadelphia than away from Philadelphia. And then on top of that, going into Coors Field is certainly never a place where you're going to feel confident in your pitcher. But on the other hand, Nola is a very good pitcher. Uh, since the start of last season, a 29.8% strikeout percentage, 3.38 XFIP. 
He's facing a Rockies team that really does not have very many good hitters. And the hitters that are good are right-handed, which plays to Nola's strengths as well, specifically talking about Chris Bryant and CJ Krohn. 4.9 implied run total for the Rockies is relatively high for a team in general, but for a team in course Field, it's pretty low. So as long as the ownership on Nola stays down, he's a very high upside option that you can use to offset ownership elsewhere in your lineup. So to recap, the top three tournament stacks on DraftKings, number three, the Tampa Bay Rays, number two, the Houston Astros, and number one, the Philadelphia Phillies. And the top three tournament pitchers, number three, Luis Garcia, number two, Tyler McGill, and number one, Aaron Nola.